Hi and welcome to my sewing corner. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to wind a bobbin, like this. Now I'm gonna be showing you on kind of an entry level Brother machine. It's not the lowest, but it's definitely not the highest. It's under $200. And this is the machine that I sew on. Most machines do have kind of arrows and one, two, three, four, laying out the steps. And so if your machine has that, you can kind of use this video in combination with your sewing machine, even if there's slight differences to kind of get the basic concept of winding a bobbin. All right, so to begin, you're gonna need some thread and a bobbin that's empty and your sewing machine. Now every sewing machine is gonna have different size bobbins, so just look at your user manual or if you don't have a user manual, you can look at the type of machine that you have and the model number online and you can find the manual. So get the right bobbin and let's begin. Begin by getting your thread and unraveling a little bit. And you can take the stickers off. I do that so that it doesn't gum up the spool pin. And place the thread onto the spool pin. And then get your cap and cap that off. Make sure that the cap is larger than the spool. That way the thread moves freely around it. Guide the thread through the thread guides and then it's gonna go around the hook through the pretension discs and just pull that all the way through. Then you grab your bobbin and make sure that you get the right size bobbin. There's different heights and then there's a hole and a little notch in them. So we're gonna put the thread through the hole of the bobbin this is my preferred method. I like putting the thread through that hole instead of wrapping it around. So then I'll put the bobbin onto the bobbin winding shaft and there's a little spring on it and you're gonna to want to turn the bobbin until it notches into that spring. And that holds it into place. Then I turn my machine on and pull the bobbin winder over. Wind it a few times to secure the thread and then clip it close. And you can just put your foot down on the pedal and wind the bobbin the rest of the way. Make sure that it feeds evenly and that everything is nice and smooth. And when it's full, that little stopper will catch onto the thread and it will start slowing down on its own. And then you can push it back over and disconnect it and it's all filled. Now you've seen how to wind a bobbin and you can go do it and it will no longer be confusing or overwhelming. And here's a couple tips that you're gonna need for the future. So if you have a big project coming, like a quilt or something with a lot of seams, chances are you may run out of bobbin thread halfway through your project. You're gonna to want to wind a few bobbins. That way they're just ready to go and waiting so you don't have to re-thread your machine. And then you're gonna want something to store your bobbins. There's all sorts of ones. There's this cute round one that holds everything and it's kind of a silicone ring. Very fancy. But in all my years of sewing, I've just stuck with putting my bobbins inside of a little jewelry gift box. And I made little dividers out of the little instruction card that comes inside of the zipper. So I just cut it up and made little dividers. And this has been exactly what I've needed. And you can see, these are just all my past projects. And anytime I'm gonna hand sew something where the color doesn't matter, I just use one of the ones one of the bobbins that only has a little bit of thread left. And then that way I empty another bobbin. Thank you for spending some time with me learning how to wind a bobbin. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel and click the little bell alert to be notified anytime that I post a video. And as always, go get creative and make something that you love. Bye.